After 1,000 days in China detention, family renews the call for release of Australian TV anchor Chang Lei. Australian television anchor Chang Lei featured in Lisbon, Portugal on November 6, 2019. Hong Kong CNN Friends and family of Australian television anchor Chang Lei re renewed the calls for her release from detention in China. 1,000 days after she was taken into custody on espionage charges, a move that has cast a black mark on the two countries' already tension, tense relationship. Chang, Chang, a former business anchor for China's state broadcaster CGTN and the mother of two, is accused of illegally applying Supplying state secrets overseas, a charge that carries a possible sentence of between five years to life in prison. Australian authorities have previously expressed concern about her detention amid suggestions from analysts that strained ties between Canberra and Beijing may have provided the impetus for the OPAQ case against her. Relations between the two countries have thrived in recent months with the trade increasing and the new Austra Australian government in place. But Chang's prolonged detention is a critical issue, holding back a further reconciliation. Nick Coyle, Chang's partner, told CNN on Tuesday, the ongoing delay the ongoing situation causes enormous damage not only to Lei and her two children, but I think it's also causing a lot of damage in terms of the apple to buy both China and Australia to repair the bilateral relationship, said Coyle. He added that people in Australia and around the world view her detention with a lot of negative sentiment and that it would be in everyone's best interest for it to be resolved as quickly as possible. Chang had been on her way to walk on the morning of August 13, 2020, when she was taken by China's Ministry of State Security, Koi said in a separate letter published in the, in the Australian newspaper on Monday. Now, 1,000 days later, we still don't know why she was taken, why she was charged with the deliberately vague national security br breaches, or when she might be with us again, she, he wrote. Australia's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Penny Wong, also released a statement on Monday, writing on Twitter, Despite being separated from her family for so long, she has shown the greater resilience and courage. Four Australians want to see her reunited with her children. Wong added that the ministry shared the concerns of Chang's friends and family about the ongoing delays on her case and that it would continue advocating for Chang at every opportunity with the Chinese government. Secretive court process. Chinese authorities have not re revealed the details of the allegations against Chang, which Coyle told CNN Tuesday makes no sense to me. She's somebody, she's a deeply passionate Australian, but also very proud of her Chinese heritage, he said. He added that as a journalist, Chang has been reporting on the positive aspect of the China growth story and China's business engagement with the world. She was making very positive contribution on that context. So it has never made sense to me why she was detained, he said. Observers have also criticized China's secretive closed-door court process. In March last year, Australia's ambassador to China was denied entry to the start of Chang's trial in Beijing, a move he called deeply concerning. The court has not yet handed down a verdict, delaying the announcement multiple times, leaving Chang stuck in custody, 
and her love, the ones without clarity on her fate. Australian ambassador to China Graham Fletcher speaks to media outside the court in Beijing, where he was denied the entry to Chang Cheng Lei's trial on March 20, 31st, 2022. Cases related to national security are typically tried behind closed doors in China, but the lack of transparency in Chang's case against the backdrop of deteriorated relations between China and Australia prompting concerns from analysts that the charges may be politically motivated. Soon after Chang was detained, two Australian journalists working in China fled the country after authorities attempted to question them on national security grounds, leaving Australia's media without any journalists in China for the first time in nearly 50 years. While there were still some Australian journalists working in China, all, all uh, employed by non-Australian media companies. For much of Chang's detention, they were, there are widespread concerns about her well-being. Last June, Coyle told the CNN affiliated Sky News Australia that Chang had faced difficult health challenges along the way and exacerbated by the inadequate prison diet. In her his letter published on Monday, Coyle described Chang spending six months cut off from the outside world, limited to those con- consular visits, which began every month with Chang being lead in, blindfolded, and handcuffed. Since then, she has been placed with other cellmates and given access to the outdoor courtyard for two hours a day, he wrote. When speaking to CNN on Tuesday, Koi said Chang was allowed to receive and send letters once a month, but other than that, she has had no face-to-face contact or phone phone calls with loved ones, including her children aged 11 and 14 for being killed, cared for the Australia, in for Australia by their grandmother, who is not their father. The most difficult issue for her to deal with is the long time that she's been away from her children, said Coyle. Physically, she's going okay, and mentally, she's very tough, very strong, very resilient.